Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Das. I'm going to be talking about how I'm using my Apogee Duet 2 along with a USB microphone uh, to record into Bitwig. Um, let me just give you a little quick overview. I'm in another country right now and um, I'm a Mac user normally. But I had a problem with my Mac. I needed a part. I couldn't get the part here because this country doesn't have, they're not big on Macs and it's tough to get support for Macs. So I had to become a PC guy. And I had to, I couldn't, I was uh, using my Logic Pro for many years. So no Mac, no Logic. And I started working with uh, Ableton Live and I love Ableton, but I like Bitwig a whole lot better. And I've been using it for a few years now. Only problem is I couldn't record um, through the mic, not using my USB. And I couldn't figure out, and I've been looking online and looking on YouTube, and I couldn't find anyone who was able to successfully connect a USB microphone to Bitwig. And you can see I'm using my Duet as my output device, my Duet 2 as my output device. And right now, Apogee has no support for Apogee on the PC, for the Duet on the, on my on any PC. So that wasn't an option. My, the driver I'm using is Wasapi, but just kind of playing around one day, I switched over to ASIO as my driver, ASIO for all as a device. And when you go into the control panel, you see here that I'm using my USB device for my microphone, uh, my Duet. I only use for my speakers, and that's that's deactivated right now um, in this ASIO for all. I can go into the wrench here to, to make the settings, and as you can see, it's um, deactivated. And it tells me it's deactivated because it's being used by another device. And that other device is OBS. The, the only downside to using my USB microphone in Bitwig is I can't have anything else open on my computer. No more, no other, no other apps that use the microphone. Which is not really a downside if the, all you're doing is focusing on what you're, the project you're working on. Now let's close out of here. I still have my USB audio device, my microphone activated. I'm going to get out of here. I can use OBS and the microphone at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to edit in myself using the microphone. Test, one, two, test. Okay, so I'm in Bitwig, obviously. I've had to turn off my microphone in OBS. And if you're not familiar with OBS, OBS is a... Uh, recording and streaming software which I'm using to record this video but I had to turn off the mic in OBS because the mic and Bitwig uh, the, the ASIO driver does not allow you to share the mic among apps so right now I'm, I'm only using I'm going to go into my settings here go into my control panel you can see I'm only using my USB mic here I only have my microphone activated, the input. I can close this. Um, I wanted to mention also that you may have to add inputs. I'm not sure because when I selected ASIO, ASIO, this was the default setting. I had, um, I had one mono input, but and you can add just by clicking that. And you can also delete. So I have one mono input, which you see here. This is my one mono output, input, sorry. And I'm recording. Works fine, sounds great. You may have to play with the, the buffer sizes. And you also have buffer selections and settings inside ASIO for all. You may have to play around with that to get the latency down to where it's tolerable for you. But uh, this works great. I hadn't had to play around with it too much. 
And um, that's it. So hopefully you got something out of this. If you did, like, and um, enjoy your day.